Royce O'Neal. Oh my oh God! God. Turned inside out by Orton. Despite the entire ordeal being scripted, wrestling isn't as easy as it looks. For performers to properly execute a series of moves, they have to not only prime themselves, but also put their opponent in a position to receive the blow without taking any serious damage. But when put on the spot, things don't always go as planned, and superstars have to improvise to mitigate the damage done to their fellow wrestlers. Here are 15 times wrestlers saved each other from injury. Number 15, Randy Orton saves Jinder Mahal. When Jinder Mahal beat Randy Orton for the WWE Championship at Backlash 2017, fans were amazed that a mid-card heel was able to beat one of the best in the company. So in order to solidify his dominance, the WWE decided that he, with the Singh brothers, would attack Orton in the middle of the ring so that people would take him seriously. When he was about to land the Kallus, Orton realized that the WWE title was at their feet and Mahal would land awkwardly if he fell on it. So the Viper quickly pushed the belt aside and took the finisher. Number 14, Sasha Banks saves Carmella. When SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks was defending her title at the 2021 Royal Rumble pay-per-view against Carmella, things got ugly for the Princess of Staten Island. When trying to attempt a suicide dive, Carmella jumped out with a little too much momentum and was going to land awkwardly on her neck, but Sasha caught her mid-air to slow her down. Even after both of them landed, Sasha could be seen asking Carmella if she was okay. Number 13, Randy Orton saves the referee. Randy Orton is one of the best in the business, and this moment shows that his ring awareness is unmatched. During a match with AJ Styles on Raw, the Viper was interrupted by a telecast of Alexa Bliss. When Bliss lit a match, she set off the ring post flares. But just before the flares went off, the referee was standing too close to the ring post and could have easily burnt himself if Orton had not motioned for him to get out of the way. Number 12, Luke Harper saves Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali's injury at the Andre the Giant Battle Royale at WrestleMania 35 has to be one of the worst injuries in wrestling. While he was going to be eliminated by Luke Harper, Strowman was scheduled to disrupt and send both men flying out. Thankfully, Harper was able to rotate Ali in time to prevent the cruiserweight from landing square on his neck. He did end up crashing into the announcer's table though and was pretty badly bruised because of the impact. However, it could have been much worse. Number 11, The Butcher Saves Marco Stunt. On the St. Patrick's Day edition of AEW Dynamite, there was an intense five on five tag match that quickly turned ugly. One of the wrestlers in the match, Marco Stunt, was thrown out of the ring and was about to land on the steel barricade. But thankfully, the butcher was able to catch him in time so that he didn't sustain too bad of an injury. Number 10, the referee saves ringside manager. The WWE should probably stop playing with fire. Things can go wrong quickly if people aren't right on cue when the flares are about to go off. In the closing moments of the 2014 Money in the Bank pay-per-view, Dean Ambrose was about to climb the ladder to retrieve the briefcase, but was interrupted by Kane. Of course, Kane's entrance would be marked by the flares going off at the ring post. However, Jack Swagger's manager was ringside and precariously close to the ring post. Luckily, a referee pulled him to safety moments before it went off. Number 9. Edge Saves AJ Styles Edge's return at the 2020 Royal Rumble was one of the biggest surprises of that year. After making his way back to the ring after a decade of inactivity, the Rated R Superstar unloaded on the other superstars by delivering a barrage of spears. One of those superstars was AJ Styles. While priming himself to receive the spear, he pushed Edge into the corner, but also dislocated his shoulder while doing so. After the incident, he discreetly gestured for Edge to eliminate him from the match, and Edge followed suit. Had AJ Styles stayed in the ring, things could have been much worse for his arm. Number 8. 
Baron Corbin saves Dolph Ziggler. Baron Corbin's feud with the show-off Dolph Ziggler was one of the first rivalries the Lone Wolf had in the WWE. Despite being a rookie in the business, he displayed remarkable awareness when he saved Ziggler from a nasty injury. Dolph was supposed to jump off the steel steps, but ended up slipping and was going to land face first on the floor. Luckily, Corbin caught him and turned it into a deep six to keep the match flowing. Number seven, Asuka versus Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks had one of the best post Royal Rumble matches with Asuka in 2018. During the match, Sasha was going to perform a suicide dive to land on Asuka. But for some reason, her knees got caught in the ropes and she was about to land on her neck. Thinking on her feet, Asuka kicked Sasha in the head to slow her down and cushion her fall. Number six, Becky Lynch saves Kairi Sane. TLC 2019 was main evented by Asuka and Kairi Sane taking on Charlotte and Becky Lynch for the women's tag team titles. It was the first time that these titles were defended in a TLC match, and the first time the main event on pay-per-view was a woman's tag match. The match didn't go too well for Kairi Sane, who was concussed after landing too hard against the barricade. This was dangerous as the injury couldn't be communicated to other superstars. So Becky pushed Kairi under the ring to keep her idle for a while, effectively saving her from future injury. Number five, Seth Rollins saves himself. Back in 2014, Roman Reigns and Randy Orton were in a feud that had both men squaring off in the ring. Seth Rollins, being the heel at the time, wanted a piece of the action but it nearly costed him his life. When Orton and Reigns were inside the ring, the Viper signaled for the cage to be lowered so that he could trap the big dog inside with him. Rollins tried to squeeze through and was nearly impaled by a spike at the base of the cage, but Seth's quickness spared him his life. The entire ordeal is very uncomfortable to watch. Number four, The Undertaker saves the big show. The Undertaker is a legend in the ring, and due to his exceptional ring awareness, he was able to save the Big Show from a lot of pain. In 2001, at the heat of the invasion, Kurt Angle came out to the ring and started planting everyone with angle slams. And finally, when it was the 300-pounder's turn to receive the slam, Kurt could not see the drop zone, but assumed that everything was clear. Unfortunately, there was a steel chair lying in his path. Luckily, The Undertaker quickly pushed it aside with his leg so The Big Show would not be injured. Number three, Roman Reigns saves Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins' title reign came to an abrupt end when he tore his knee ligament after trying to land a sunset flip against Kane in a WWE live event in Ireland. And so, the following week, a devastated Seth Rollins relinquished his title to rehabilitate his knee. When he came back to reclaim the title from Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank 2016, he was trying to land a sunset flip, the same move that got him injured in the first place. To avoid injury, Reigns held onto the leg of Rollins so that he could descend slower and execute the move properly. Number two, Ryback saves Kalisto. In what would be his last match in the WWE, Ryback challenged Kalisto for the US title in the pre-show of Payback 2016. The match was going to take a turn for the worse when Kalisto failed to properly execute a springboard corkscrew moonsault and was going to land back first into the apron. Ryback caught him and cushioned his fall, saving him from a very bad spine injury. And coming in at number one, Fandango saves Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is one of the best in the business, so it comes as a surprise that Fandango, of all people, would have to save him. After he turned face, Cody had to establish himself as a prominent figure in the ring by taking on Fandango. During the match, while trying to land a top rope moonsault, Cody came up way too short and was about to land on his forehead. Luckily, Fandango caught him quickly to save him from breaking his face again. All right, guys, that's it for this list. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, subscribe for more great content just like this.